Houston 2, India's indigenous, medium-altitude long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle, has passed an important milestone and will be ready for production within two months. The DRDO's development program has reached an altitude of 25,000 feet and an endurance of 10 hours. Dr. Tessie Thomas, Director General, Aeronautical Systems, stated that within two months DRDO will demonstrate an altitude of 30,000 feet and an endurance of 18 hours that meets the requirements of the services. After the tests are completed, in the next two months, it will be given to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Bharat Electronics Limited for production. In terms of future plans, Dr. Thomas stated that a program for improved, more capable, high altitude long endurance UAVs is also in the works. About Rustam 2, male unmanned aerial vehicle. The Rustam 2 male UAV is the latest addition to the Rustam series of unmanned aerial vehicles, which also includes the Rustam 1, Rustam H, and Rustam C. It is designed for use by the Indian Armed Forces, which include the Army, Navy, and Air Force in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. In November, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation flew a prototype of the Rustam 2, Tapas 201, medium altitude, long endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle from the Chitradurga Aeronautical Test Range in Karnataka, India. The Indian Armed Forces tested the UAV's takeoff, landing, and level flight capabilities during its maiden flight. Following the completion of design and verification testing, the prototype was scheduled to go through user validation trails. The Directorate General of Aeronautical Quality Assurance and the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification have approved the certification and quality assurance for the Rustam 2's maiden flight. Development of the Rustam 2. Rustam 2 has been designed and developed by Aeronautical Development Establishment. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited was the primary integrator with Bharat Electronics Limited developing the UAV's ground control station. The Rustam 2 male drone is based on the Rustam H unmanned combat aerial vehicle and has a lightweight airframe. It has a length of 9.5 meters and an empty weight of 1,800 kilograms. It is equipped with mid-set, high aspect ratio, wings spanning 20.6 meters. The tail section is outfitted with a conventional T-type vertical stabilizer and a high-mounted horizontal tailplane. The UAV's tricycle landing gear enables it to perform safe takeoff and landing maneuvers on hard surfaces. It has a single nose wheel in the front and two single wheel main gears at the center of gravity. Rustam 2 payloads. The unmanned aerial vehicle is designed to carry a variety of cutting edge payloads weighing up to 350 kilograms, allowing it to perform multiple missions in both day and night lighting conditions. Payloads include electromagnetic intelligence, communication intelligence, synthetic aperture radar, maritime patrol radar, radio altimeter, transmitting and receiving antennae and situational awareness payloads. The drone has medium and long range electro-optic sensors in a modular payload pod mounted under the nose for capturing imagery and video. The medium altitude UAVs fly between 25,000 feet to 28,000 feet and those flying above this altitude come under high altitude. The Rustam 2 is being developed to carry out for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance purpose and is capable of carrying different combinations of advanced payload and capable of auto landing and also it can be modified for any use as per the requirements. Extensive endurance UAVs are a top priority for the Indian Armed Forces, particularly in the standoff with China in Eastern Ladakh. The Indian Armed Forces rely heavily on Israeli searcher and Heron drones and require more of these unmanned aerial vehicles. 
the services have begun a major upgrade project for the Heron UAVs. A separate proposal from the United States for 30 armed Predator drones, 10 for each service, is also at advanced stages.